Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Civ 6 on the PS4 Pro. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter turn. We did name two of the cities. That was Urfa, and I named it Wells. Uh, mainly just because it's, it's kind of mountainous a little bit. Wells has some mountains. So, uh, and it makes sense, of course, because we're playing as England. And then, also, I named this one down here Danelaw. My logic behind that was because I had considered naming this Iceland because it's got ice and it's got a volcano. Jinx didn't, no way. Jinx didn't like that though because she wants to go to Iceland and so and she didn't Iceland's want. beautiful. Yeah, very true. It that is quite beautiful. Is shitty. So Jinx didn't <laughs> want it named Iceland. So instead I called Danelaw since, you know. There's no shame in deterrence. Okay, just him saying what he's already said before. Uh, but yeah, Danelaw was the was the area that the Danish ruled in England. Uh, that's what it eventually came to be called, which, interestingly enough, um, part of the Danelaw, the main city in Danelaw, was York, which we actually already have over here. I wanted to name it Castlin, cold as shit land. <laughs> I, I didn't get it, what she was trying to say. I guess it was an acronym, but I wasn't seeing it in my head what the acronym was that she wanted Kanye to do. West needs more <laughs> amenities. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. Uh, we got a great merchant. One plus level diplomatic visibility with all civilizations. Uh, once you activate that. Oh. Really? Oh. Whatever. <laughs> I'll take them. <laughs> uh, we get the air score, which we do need. We actually need for once. Uh, and this builder is ready to do something. What the hell is he over here doing? Oh, we just got him. Okay. So we got a new builder. I assume we got him for a reason. Oh, yes, we wanted to repair that fucking farm. Oh. Let's go ahead and do that. Wow, that was fast. Mm-hmm. He's super quick. And this guy here, I think, is building railroads. Yes, he is building railroads. Through the jungle. So let's go and have another railroad the built there. Of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Mary Catherine Goddard. Uh, where would we do? We'd do it right up here. So we'll just go ahead and do her uh, action immediately. Get the one plus visibility. I'm not saying it's not, it's helpful, I suppose. It's just not. If we got something with the spy stuff, it would have been a little bit better. Your skill sucks, lady. Rather than the diplomatic one. Uh, so we got a missionary here. I don't even know what we're doing. I think we're gonna go spread some, some nudie love up here. These guys look like they're about to convert, so let's give them a little bit more nudism. Let's give them a push. And uh, we got another missionary here. Okay, I don't know where he was going either. I assume he's going up this way. I guess we'll start up here uh, with our characters. Because, yeah, they actually have. Look at that. They have one. We're going to have to take him out here early on. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with him, I think. Let me just see, take a look here. I think one of them's better than the others. Although I can't really yeah, see isn't the... isn't that that boss bitch? He's got 20 plus like, strength. killed everybody. Hmm? Isn't that that boss bitch? What, this one? Yeah. No, uh, theirs was killed a long time ago, Jinx. Uh -huh. Oops. I'm trying to select him here. Uh, just seeing what the, who's got the best abilities here. All right, so they both had the debater, so it doesn't really matter which one we use. Uh, so let's go ahead and use... We'll start with this one, then. And just about kills it in one hit. It's not too shabby. Bram. It's very loud. It is very loud. And then we have uh, one more to finish him off. So yeah, anytime he spawns those, we'll just take him out immediately. No more religious spreads for Mongolia. Man, I bet the people in that city are sick of dance offs. Mm hmm. Yeah. Like, the constant dance offs. Can you guys keep it down, please? It's happening Enough all the happen. time. Uh, so we can gain sources, which we can do if there's no other options here, which I guess we will do, because it doesn't look like there's any good options here. Whatever. Uh, and, yes, that is right. We're going to go ahead and start here. Uh, okay, so we have another unit that's coming over here to help take these guys out. We'll move him. Let me see him move right there. And so we'll just have it completely surrounded. So we can easily kill them. And does this one have any, hold up, let me just take a look here. See what his abilities are. Well, he gets the triple strength in cities of other civilizations. You know what I think we might have been planning on doing? Is having him spread in the capital. Mm. I think that's what we were doing since we do have so many apostles sitting up there. Uh, let's go ahead and move this guy. 
We're gonna try and get the capital converted if we can. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's start. The religious war is real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna convert all their cities so that they're not able to produce their, their people anymore. I would not want to run around riding horses naked. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I had to think about it for a sec. I wanted to make sure before I spoke on it. It's an important subject. Uh, but yeah, I, I had a degree. I don't I don't think I'd want to ride a horse naked. I'd at least wear like a diaper or something. A diaper? <laughs> something cushy, you know? <laughs> yep. It would look like a diaper. It wouldn't be a diaper. I wouldn't poo in it, but it would be comfy. <laughs> it would be like a pillow butt. Hmm, so how do you build the, the thing on there? Do you just have to start right here to build it? Let's take a look. What are you building? Oh, the tunnel? Yeah, the tunnel. Uh, yeah, mountain tunnel. That's cool. Mountain and tunnel. we built the first mountain tunnel. And that guaranteed error score. I didn't know that. I feel sad for the world. They've never had a mountain tunnel. Yeah, before. they never had any mountain it's not tunnels. not even in the right spot. Yeah, it doesn't look, <laughs> it doesn't look right. Um, I wonder if it'll connect right. No. <laughs> oh, well, no, no. Look, it, it goes on all corners. Oh, okay. So it does connect to the road there. Well, okay. That seems like a lot of unnecessary work. Yeah, considering the fact that we're not going to go out on either. Well, I guess we'll have to go out on that path right there. Uh, let's go and get some uh, construction done. Dumfries did finish up their workshop. Uh, do they need housing here? They do not. Uh, they can't get... It looks like we'll just have to get a production thing. Uh, there's really nothing, nothing else to get here, guys. Some sewage. So let's get a factory. Well, they don't need it. That's what I was saying. They don't really need the housing. Uh, we got a trader in Jerusalem uh, because we did need to get one more trade route going. Let's see what else they have available for us to, to build here. And get a water park. That'd be an option if we yeah, wanted to get a new I feel district. About water parks. Mm hmm. Jinx likes water parks. Uh, looks like we can get another spy. It'd take 15 turns here. Doesn't seem like the best place to get the spy, honestly, just because of how long it's going to take. Maybe we should get something else. We can start our space force. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta have that space force. You know what? Let's just build this by here, guys. I don't know what else we build. Uh, and yes, that's right. We're gonna get uranium for the first time, and that boosted something. And kill all those people. Uh, and we're gonna have the trader move to... I'm gonna really see if I can't trade from Liverpool here. Uh, if I can't trade with our ally from Liverpool. So let's try. Let's move them to Liverpool. And the submarine needs to go back here. Go back to sleep. We ain't got nothing else for him to do. Sleeping with the crabbies. Mm-hmm. Go to sleep. And then we're moving this guy. I don't even know where I'm moving him. He's gonna go join somebody, I guess. Let's sail the open sea. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I forgot we were settling the new city. Oh, so yeah. one of the problems with settling here, you can see that we have loyalty issues. So this is going to be a problem, guys. We're probably going to have to move a governor over here, actually. I tried to get as far away from the city as possible, because you see these two are negative 20. Uh, but negative 13 is the best we can do, unless we wanted to go way up here, but then we kind of lose the opportunity to work a lot of these tiles. So yeah, we're going to go here and just take the negative 13, and hope it works out all right. And then I don't even know what we were doing. I guess we were going to start moving over this way, weren't we? Oh, we are going to get the goody hut. Get that goody hut, Jinx. I think he's after the goody hut. He might be. Oh, it's it, well, w wasn't it a worker? No, I thought it was like a Maybe sword it was. guy. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look here in a second. And then we're going to go take that. That'll get us a little bit of gold. Gold, I tell you. And we'll bring the battleship over. Oh, yeah, it was a sword guy. Yeah, maybe he was going over to get our goody hut. My goody hut. Can't let him take it, guys. Mm -mm. That's our goody hut. That's our goody hut. Speaking of goody huts, there's another one right there. That's right, we just discovered that this uh, island was here. I like that island. I like it too. I call it Boomerang Island. It does, I was just about to say, it looks like, I, I wasn't going to say Boomerang, I don't I was probably going to say a, a letter or something. But yeah, I think boom, Boomerang is better. We'd have to call it Boomerang Island. Oh, you know, no, we'll call it Australia. <laughs> Australia was a British colony. Uh, British Dominion for a long time as well. I feel bad for so Australia. That makes sense. Yeah, what's going on there with those Good fires? Animals. Good God, and that is crazy. <laughs> Jinx said, and people too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what's been going on there, man? With uh, those fires, they're huge. The whole place is on fire. Yeah, yep. 
That's crazy. Uh, yeah, and you're telling me that they were talking about putting the koalas on the endangered species mm-hmm. list now because of how many were killed. Yeah, just really, really sad, guys. Um, and there's the spires, fires are just like widespread. They're everywhere. Yeah. Like when you look at the map. Um, oh, I saw, yeah, like a picture from space. And mm-hmm. It was like all red and shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so she wants our oil. I of tell course. her no. No oil for you. Maybe if you're nicer. Mm-hmm. Pull that stick out your ass. Hey, I'm not giving anybody um, any more st- strategic resources unless they are attacking somebody who I don't like. So essentially, if you want anything from me, you need to fight Mongolia. Because <laughs> they're the only ones we really don't like. Yeah, because they're ridiculous. And it's going to be a pain to wipe them off the planet. It won't be too bad because cities are a lot easier to take later True. in the game. Uh, so we've got a lot of different options now in this World Congress. Uh, there are a, there's a competition, the World's Fair, and then we have three options now, which are all, I think, different from any previous ones. Uh, so the first one is patronage. Uh, so we can earn double points towards great people of this class, or earn no points of great people towards this class. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Yeah. Uh, well, unless, I guess if there's a certain great person you really didn't want popping up... I don't know who you wouldn't want popping I know, up. Like, well, like maybe a great great scientist, but I mean everything helps you as well. Unless mm-hmm. you just, it would have to be somebody that you weren't earning any points towards. Which we earn points towards pretty much everybody. Towards all of them, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and earn points towards great engineer. I like great engineers, so we'll get that. And then we have migration treaty. Uh, so t- plus twenty percent population growth, but negative five loyalty return in this player's cities. Or plus five loyalty per term, but negative twenty percent population growth in this player cities. Okay. Jamming out to this dramatic music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do this one, and then we're just gonna choose as our target. Who else would we choose, Genghis Khan? I'll let them grow quicker so that I can take bigger cities, but maybe they'll flip over to us. They'll I'm not gonna put cranky. a lot of points into it though. Uh, diplomatic victory, select an outcome. Oh. Chosen player gets two diplomatic victory points. Well, I like that. Why would you want to give those to anyone but yourself? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but you could also take diplomatic points from other countries. Our but buddy might vote for us. Probably not. He loves us. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to vote for ourselves there. I think he wants our hand in marriage. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, perhaps. That's fitting. And you know what? He's Norway as well. Uh, so that's fitting. Uh, World's Fair. Which nation has the best creative? Okay, so this is... So what are we voting for it, whether or not we do it or not? I guess. Are you voting for if you're going to participate? Generating great people points per turn gets the score. Well, we get a lot of those. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't... Let's do it. Want to do it, so... But do we really need... Is anybody going to vote against this? I don't think anybody vote for, against it. I don't think we need to spend a bunch of points on it. Maybe somebody who doesn't get great people. Yeah, maybe. Um, so I don't want to do the fair. Let's see how we want to do this. I'm going to vote there. Um, put some points towards there. Get, give them more points here. We've got a lot of points, guys, frankly. Mm-hmm. Oops. So you put some more points there. I don't know that this will pass. I don't really, it doesn't really matter that no. much to me, though. I'd prefer putting points to some of this other stuff. I guess we'll do another one here because it's not too expensive. Make sure that we get the diplomatic points there. That looks good. That leaves us 200 points for the next one. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Let's go and say next. And uh, see how things go. And submit that. And hopefully. Our proposals passed. And nobody passed anything against us. I'm always worried that we're going to become a target because we're yeah. like, you know, like they're too big. the best player. All right, so patronage. Uh, no points earned towards great admirals is the one that passed. All right, well, it doesn't really bother I us. We have, we've, we've got, got a lot of great admirals. Too many. Who, who voted for this? Uh, it seems like almost everybody voted for the B outcome. Yeah, we're the only ones who voted for A. Everybody <laughs> wanted like certain, uh, certain ones not. Oh, so uh, India chose great scientists, while Norway chose great merchants. Yeah, everybody else chose great animals. 
All right, so that's unfortunate. They'll, unfortunate, they'll get diplomatic points because of that passing. We have the Migration Treaty, uh, and this one did pass. This was the one that's going to hurt Genghis Khan, though his, his cities will grow faster, but they'll not have as much loyalty. Uh, so we voted for that, and Norway voted for us. What? Oh, they wanted us to grow quicker. Yeah, uh, and a lot of people voted for Gandhi. Three people, including Gandhi, voted for Gandhi. Okay, uh, so let's close that. Uh, and the diplomatic victory, we passed that one as well, so that's going to give us the two points. I assume everybody voted for themselves. Yes, nobody's going <laughs> to vote for anybody else. So yeah, everybody voted for themselves there. Uh, and it looks like Tamar put the same amount of points into it. So we just got lucky that we oh, got wow. it instead of Tamar. Uh, taking a look at uh, the World's Fair that did pass. Okay, I didn't think we needed to put any points towards it. I figured everybody would vote for it. Yeah, nobody voted against it. And everybody put the exact same amount of points to it as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm trying to return to game. So we now have the World's Fair. Uh, so which nation has best creative? Oh, we read that. So basically you just gain scores by creating great people points per turn. So I, I imagine that we will win this because we get a fuck ton of great person points, guys. Foreign city gains independence. Korea no longer has enough loyalty to keep Oh, this city loyal. Uh, so I imagine there, that's the one we had seen before. We didn't know who was influencing more. Was it Korea or the Hungarians? Mm -hmm. Hard to say. But it's not theirs anymore. Uh, and it looks like there's been peace. Uh, ooh, a violent hurricane. They have a lot of hurricanes on that side of the world. Uh, so the, the, we gained one diplomatic point from that. And we need amenities. And housing. Everyone always needs amenities. Mm -hmm. So I want to take a look at our current diplomatic points now because we did get that. So we are now in the lead. We're tied from the lead with Tamar. Okay, not bad, guys. Next time we need to take points from Tamar. You're going down, cranky bitch. Mm -hmm. So um, let's go ahead and get get this stuff done. Uh, so we got a library in Wells. Uh, let's get the university, I guess. I want to make sure that we stay on top with the research, man. So they got a library before they learned how to read? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, they you, don't, you don't have to go to university to learn how to read, Jinx. <laughs> no, right. they wouldn't teach you how to read there. Yeah, university. When you go to university, they kind of expect you to know how to read. Uh, let's get that railroad. And we got this trader over here. Tunnel. I'm trying to see if, and loud trucks going by, guys. It's very loud. We cannot trade with our our, our friend over there, unfortunately. unfortunately. I was hoping we'd be able to trade across. I almost wonder if you can't trade here because technically, if you look at the mini map, we're like going across. You know what I mean? Oh. I wonder if you're not allowed to trade across there. Yeah, but why the it hell could just be can too we far, trade though. with Gandhi? Because we're trading. I told you this. We're trading across here, Jinx. Oh. See. There's India and there's the Hungarians. Yeah, that's, that's why we can trade with further. them. Yeah, as far as distance, like if you look at Liverpool and you look at Gandhi mm -hmm. stuff, doesn't it seem like it's about as far as what yeah. that is? It seems like it's further. But I see what you're saying. They're, right. They just they're afraid mm -hmm. they'll fall off the world. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that the fact that you know that technically the Earth is round, like we could <laughs> go all the way around here, but maybe it's kind of like not working properly. I don't know, guys. Kind of frustrating, though, because I was hoping that we could trade with them. I mean, maybe if we did it up here in Wells, but I'm not moving this guy. He already moved once, so it's fine. Uh, I guess we can trade with India for all those goodies. Uh, good production. It seems like the Indian cities are the most uh, beneficial to us to trade with. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm not seeing any, any uh, missions for a trade route, so yeah, let's trade with... Delhi. Begin the routes. And that'll give extra production for Liverpool, which I think they're working on a wonder. And in fact, we might want to send... Don't we have a, a great person that, that... A great engineer? A great engineer. I think we have a couple of them down in the capital. I don't think we have a couple, but I think we have one. Like I one sitting we there. Two I think you're thinking out. of... Well, I think we do have two. You're right, but he, he doesn't boost wonders. He's the one that lets oh, you build an extra... Uh, I see. Uh, an extra district. Let's put him to sleep. Uh, put this guy to sleep as well. Or just, yeah, put him to sleep. And this missionary will be spreading. Oh, yes, I forgot. 
that we're gonna use this guy here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, to spread in the city. Yeah, triple strength. That's one we want to spread into the capital. Uh, the capital is no longer their religion, so they can't build. And there we go. Holy city of another religion has converted to a religion. That's plus four error score. And so, yeah, they can no longer build their own guys in Everyone that city. Everyone is naked. Everybody's getting naked, guys. Having it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Uh, so let's work on, on converting the rest of their cities, the ones we haven't converted yet. There's one over there that needs to be converted. And then, uh, of course, there's the one up there, too. Uh, I guess we'll start out over, over here. Well, we have this guy here. I guess he can go over there. Yeah, we'll send him over there. He's closer. It's just funny how Gandhi, yeah, not Gandhi, um, the Mongolians started out as like the badass religious mm -hmm. folk going around dancing off. Mm hmm. Not anymore, though, right? Mm hmm. Nope. Not anymore, guys. Everybody thought nudism was a joke. Yep. Nobody took it seriously. Serious. Mm hmm. They're like a religion just cares about getting naked. <laughs> how silly. They didn't know how serious well, look we who's were, naked guys. Now. All right, so this lets us go through the tunnel here, but we need to get a railroad here first. You got to put a railroad in the tunnel? No. Mm -hmm. You still can't even go on it. You just kind of go through it or whatever. Oh. Uh, yes, we want to go ahead and get the wheel here as well. And uh, the missionary that we're spreading. And let's go ahead and continue moving towards the next place that we're going to colonize. Which we do need to get another missionary for that. I forgot. So we should probably set that up soon. Uh, maybe just purchase one. And let's build a new city here, guys. Brighton. And we'll have to take a look at how their loyalty is, is doing. Uh, you know, since we've, we already know that we have. Getting hit by the loyalty penalty a little bit. And let's just take a look. So it is falling by 5.2. So it's not too bad, uh, but we should probably get a governor here, guys. So we'll do that here in a minute. More error score. Uh, so what do we want to do with our builder? I guess we'll go get, get some this. olives. Yeah, we'll get those olives. That'll make them happy. Bada bing, bada boom, man. And there's 50 gold as well. We don't have to worry about those raiders that have been spawning. I like black and olives. a goodie hut. We got a free envoy, guys. You said you like black olives? Mm -hmm. I like black olives. I'm not a big fan of the green olives, though. I used to like them when I was a kid, but I think that was a novelty thing. I don't think they're actually tasty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we got some new stuff here. Yeah, we have the Seaside Resort, of course, and Ooh, that's for tourism. Uh, so that's something that we're going to want to get. Uh, but man, I could have swore that we could also build, maybe I didn't get those yet, something that provides power, all those power things. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Wouldn't be the first time. Uh, so the Seaside Resort, what exactly does that do? I know that it gives the tourism, um, but yeah, I can't even, I can't even look at it. I guess we'll consult the Civilpedia. Cause I'm curious. Uh, where the hell is it? Districts, oh, it's somewhere near here. Hmm. Improvements and routes. All right, so it's gonna be down here at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Like the the offshore wind farms and the uh, there's a bunch of the geothermal plant. I wonder if we don't have the technology for that. I thought we did, um, but maybe we don't. So let's look at the seaside resort. Uh, unlocks the builder. Okay, so provides tourism equal to the tiles of pill. Can only be built on coastal desert. Oh, coastal plains or coastal. oh, coastal plain. Okay, I didn't finish reading it. And you gotta have minimum pill breathtaking. All right, so more tourism. Uh, that'd be good to have in the capital. Uh, I wonder if there's anywhere here. Does it have to be a workable tile? I wonder. Or can you just build it anywhere? I just want to know what's better than breathtaking. Like if there's a view that literally takes your breath away, then mm -hmm. what's better than that? What's the next level? I don't know. I guess we could look at that if we wanted to. Um, I'm trying to see. I'm going to try and build it right there and see if it'll let me. Since that's on a workable tile. Because it'd be a nice way to make use of non-workable tiles, if that were possible. So we'll try and use it right there and see if it see if it works or not. It makes sense. And then uh, these guys are going to continue exploring. I guess the Arctic Ocean. I guess that's what it's called here. Watch out for icebergs. And uh, 
Maybe we'll find another. There's still a little bit of space there. There could be an island in there somewhere. Are they rebuilding the Titanic? Rebuilding it? Yeah, like Oh, Titanic I don't know. Two. Are they? I thought they were. I don't know. I didn't hear anything could about have been that. Fake news. <laughs> could have been. I, I don't know. It's news to me. And we got the greenery, guys. I like buying those right from the get-go. That's super helpful because they take forever to build otherwise. I know. It's so nice having financial freedom. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Jinx. Uh, and what else do we want to get here? I guess we'd need to get a district, but man, it takes so long to, to build the districts. You know what I think we'll get? I think we're going to get a worker here. By the time he gets it, we'll actually need it, so. Oh. <laughs> That's only because he... It's only because he, uh... Uh, they don't have any production there. They don't have any pops. So, that situation will change. So, we got that one envoy uh, from the Goody Hut. And so, where should we place them? Probably Cardiff, so we can get the bonus here. Uh, the two plus production in every city with the factory building. Uh, one producing wonders, buildings, or districts. So, let's do that. All right, fantastic. So, oh yes, that's right. We were building a, a wonder here, right? And I wanted to see... If we wanted to boost that. We're building the Sydney Opera House. Oh. It's going to be 20 turns. And I think they're the only ones currently building a wonder. Gosh, Broadway is bright. So let me just take a look here. So I think this is the one. No, no, that's not the one. That's the wrong one. It's this guy. We just have too many damn great people lying around. So we're going to want to use, oh, can we not? Oh, I don't have them selected. Let's <laughs> say, like, can we not use it on that wonder? You can't do anything. You got to right wake here. them up. No, 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 we just, I didn't have them selected. Let me see if there's any other wonders built in our lands that I don't know about. Nope. All right, so I'm moving there. Jerusalem's built in shady characters. Come on. All right, so he's going to go over there. And I think that's the last thing we need to do for this turn. So it's going to end our turn. Although we could go ahead and buy the other citizen, the other, uh, I think we will go ahead and do that, actually. The settler? Yeah, the other settler here. In preparation. Oh, it looks like I ended my turn. Never mind, we're not buying shit. <laughs> so it happens. Who's over there tooting their flute? Um, our reporter, I guess? Hmm. He's got skills. Got flute skills. Is that a flute? Pied Piper. That's not a flute, though. Whatever it is. I don't know what that is. Didn't sound like a flute anyway. I guess I'm not a musical instrument expert like Jinx here. Not an expert either. <laughs> Who attacked us? What happened? I know. I wish I knew. Okay, our skir skirmisher was bombarded by an enemy encampment. What enemy encampment? Oh. Oh, that place there. Because it's a rebel one. Can attack Rebels. us. Rebels. I wasn't aware of that. Me. And, okay, looks like our, our guy's done here. Let me see what our, our stuff is. I spy from the Indian Empire was killed during the neutralized governor mission. So they tried to neutralize our governor, and then we killed him. Okay. Uh, we can That's purchase faith. Uh, or we can purchase an apostle with our faith. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Does Istanbul have the ability to, to buy stuff? Oh, that's right. We have to do it here, though, don't we? In Newtonham, since they have that bonus. So we'll do it here. Let's get ourselves another apostle. They're 820 now. That shit's getting expensive. Nudism is popular. I need more amenities, of course. I always need more amenities, man. Let's get this trader set out on a route. We did the Auckland last time. I'm, I'm thinking we did that solely based on a, a mission. Money? No, I think it was for a mission. I could oh. be wrong, though. Yeah, I think that's what it was for. Yeah, I think they did want it. Mm-hmm. Let's see what other options we have here. Uh, of course, we got Delhi again and all the goodies that that grants. Um, just looking for other options, though. Again, we, we don't want to trade with them at all. So, yeah, it looks like that's the only option is trading with India or the Hungarians. Yeah, let's trade with the Hungarians, man. Why not? Is that the only city It's not as profitable. Has? I think it's the only one we can trade with because oh, it's the see. only coastal one on that side. Uh, and then our apostles here. Uh, and I, I'm always trying to like religious spread. Okay, so yeah, there's. I don't think we'll use that. This guy here. Then we won't use his last spread. Gonna do the nanner dance. 
We're just gonna keep them like around here to kill like those damn Protestants that keep landing. <laughs> they think they're being sneaky. Mm-hmm. They ain't sneaky. We know what they're doing. Swoop in. Convert some shit. Show their goodies. Share snacks. I think there will be no Christian snacks here. <laughs> Alright, so let's kind of get the capital even more converted. And uh, our battleship is going to come over here and destroy some shit. Or we'll take their snacks and then do a nudie dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. Crumbs and all. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and start clearing the land for our settlers. And our troops that are coming over here, get rid of all these damn barbarians, man. And get this guy off. So he'll be going over there soon. And we'll likely bring this dude over there as well. And I forgot to, to move a governor over to these guys, so we're going to want to do that. And we'll just put them in the sea. I think it'll be quicker. As long as they don't run into any pirates. So let's go and get uh, a governor going over to Brighton. Though we do need to change the damn name, man. I would like to see how we're doing on this so far. Yeah, we're in the lead, easily. Okay. Uh, this can be Iceland, I guess. You want this one to be Iceland, Jinx? Sure. I guess it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's not really similar shape, but kind of like it in a way. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can call it Iceland. Let's do that now then. I mean, we don't really need to have an Iceland. I mean, Iceland's not English, so. No. I mean, you could always name it something else, Jinx. Could be New Zealand. Sure. <laughs> we can name that New Zealand too, although that's really large. Yeah, I guess we'll name this New Zealand. Why not? And, oops, delete all that. I guess Brighton. it doesn't, caps don't mind. Don't matter, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it capitalizes everything. everything, yeah. New Zealand. Voila. Ta-da. Did it. All right, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to move a governor over to them. I can never remember which one the damn governor one is. It's that one. I was sure it was the people looking one. We'll just move this guy over there. Just seeing if, uh, I mean, this one would be better for, like, a defensive situation, honestly, but... He could get attacked. He never know. He does give the loyalty bonuses, though. Uh, so that's helpful. And he's scary looking. Although I'm not seeing any loyalty bonuses. Okay, there it is right there. Although he's probably really fun at parties. Yeah, when he gets drunk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all in all his friends say, anyway. He knows all the best songs. Where are all our governors assigned? Doesn't Dover... Do, yeah, Dover has a governor. We mm -hmm. can always move Dover's governor away. I think he's happy there, though. Well, I don't <laughs> care. Rude. I move them where they need to be, Jinx. I think we're going to move Dover's governor out. Yeah, let's do that. I think Victor is in a better spot right now there because that's a city that actually might get attacked. Uh, so where the hell is this? Magnus. Is Magnus the one in Dover? Yeah. All right. To get past New it. Zealand. No, it was all the way down the bottom. There we go. Voila. I mean, that's not a bad place. I mean, yeah, it's it's got like uh, deer, so you get meat regularly, and then they have olives—the only place in the empire with olives. True. That's impressive. So, yeah, it's not a shabby place, Jinx. Shipwrecks <laughs> to go visit, I guess. Lots of crabs. We're just gonna get this guy moving somewhere. I feel like the crabs would be a nuisance, wandering into your homes and shit. Yeah. Pinching your toes. I see what you mean, Jinx. That could be a problem. And we're naked, so that's even <laughs> scarier. And we're going to have Horatio Nelson move down to here. Although we should probably move this sh uh, ship out and end up using his ability on accident, guys. <laughs> Alright, put him to sleep. And more railroads, guys. I know this is a super exciting part of the game. I know I sure love it. <laughs> and, uh... Oh yes, this is guys being attacked. Oh, yeah. So we could go in there and attack all their shit and stuff too if we wanted to or go loot it. Attack by who? It's being attacked by the encampment right there. Oh. Because the city is a, you know, a rebellious city. Oh, I see. So like the city and the So are they just attacking everybody? Can attack us. Yeah, they can attack everybody. Anybody oh. who comes within their Why range. Why are they being dicks? What did we do to them? It's just what they do, Jinx. I mean, we did go into their their borders. Well, we need to go over there and show them what for. 
<laughs> scout needs to take him out, Jinx. Yeah. Well, if he was a paratrooper scout, I guess we could. Poison their water. Poison I mean, I guess their he's water? Not a spy, but... <laughs> yeah, we're going to poison their water. So I mean, you don't need to be one. a spy yeah. to poison water. I mean, poisoning water really isn't all that difficult, actually. Ooh, look at that. They're con they're doing the Venetian Arsenal. I really wanted to get that oh. somewhere. Hmm. I wonder why we couldn't do that anywhere. There's no spots. Oh well, yeah, I figured that. But I mean, like, let me just take a look here. Why couldn't they get the Venetian Arsenal? No suitable location. But what does it need? Must be adjacent to an industrial zone. Oh, okay. I see why you can't do that then. All right. I wonder if we could rush that then. Let's rush this once. And uh, make that go a little bit quicker. It's not going to take 12 turns to get that. And the missionary's here as well. So let's go ahead and spread. Spread that love. And also build the oil well. All right, fantastico. All right, so that is actually going to be the end of the turn and the end of the episode, guys. Did not make it very far. We're making it less turns every episode as we get further along. Turns and there's more stuff to... Ridiculous. Yep. And this is one reason why I never play Civ on the channel, uh, <laughs> as I just noticed that it just takes so long uh, to play. It's a long game, you know, especially if you talk a lot like we do when we do our Let's Plays. Uh, it goes a lot quicker when you're you're playing on your own because, you know, you're not talking uh, and contemplating Excuse things out me. loud. It's not my fault. I'm not blaming you, Jace. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, we're not, you know, a person would be talking if they're playing. I assume you're not talking. Maybe you are talking I to do. yourself. I talk to myself, and I talk to the game all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to end the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode. Uh, I don't know if we'll... I almost want to start playing some more turns off camera, guys. I don't know if we'll do that for the next episode or if we'll do it after that, but yeah, definitely need to do it. We're never gonna, never gonna get anywhere, guys, this way. It's just too slow. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll be doing that soon, doing another skip ahead. Uh, but hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.